had a, basically a, just an attitude of not being afraid. The Olympic Games are in full swing, an experience many only dream of. But for one Cal Poly alumni, the Summer Games were an experience of a lifetime. Not only once, but three times. So you grew up on the Central Coast, uh -huh. born in Rio Grande? I was born in San Luis Obispo and grew up in the five cities. 34-year-old Stephanie Brown Trafton began at Cal Poly playing basketball and running track and field. But after a knee injury, Trafton focused solely on discus and shot put. And she says that seemed to be the right choice. So when did you know you were going to have an opportunity to make it to the Olympics? I mean, did you know when you were at Cal Poly that that was an option? It's always been a dream of mine to be on the Olympic team ever since I was four years old. I was totally going to be a gymnastics star. But being six foot four, you are kind of excluded from gymnastics being a viable option. I feel like five, yeah. five one. <laughs> yeah, with that. Yeah. So um, I was, you know, growing up, I knew sports was definitely going to be a ticket to college. So 2004, that was straight out of Cal Poly. Mm -hmm. You went straight to the trials yeah. and made it. Yes. So, um, so I finished out my senior project, and that was um, the year that I made the Olympic team. Did you know that you were going to make it when you went to trials? You have to be top three in the country just to make it on the Olympic team. And I was in the top ten, but barely scratching that. Ended up that I had a personal record of over nine feet to make the Olympic team that year. That's before. significant. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah. even inches is yeah. a big deal. So exactly. yeah. where did that power come from? Um, it was just a matter of the culmination of the training and all of the aspirations that this was my time. I was so elated I did a cartwheel right in the middle of the field. <laughs> so I, I mean, what else do you do? And it was here? a horrible cartwheel too. Trafton did not win a medal in Athens, but four years later in the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, she went from Olympic athlete to Olympic champion. So speaking of Beijing, those were your, your big games. Mm -hmm. um, did you know when you walked out in the opening ceremonies how big they would be for you? I had an idea because I had the number one throw going into that meet in the world. I had the number one throw. So then you get the gold medal, which is the first in discus in 76 years, yeah. right? Yeah. So I mean, that's a huge thing. How did you feel after you won? Yeah, that, that was an amazing experience because the Eastern European countries dominate the discus event. How, how did it feel to be on the podium and the national mm -hmm. anthem playing? And I, I can't even imagine, and I'm sure many people can't. I, how was that? I was at a loss for words. I forgot. I actually forgot the words to the national anthem. 596 athletes. Okay. 36 gold medals. Okay. So the ratio is small, and yeah. you were one of those. Yeah. I mean, how do you put that into words? Well, being the best in the world is something that I never really thought like was a goal of mine. I just wanted to make the Olympic team. Trafton competed in the 2012 games in London as well, placing eighth in discus. She says training entails a few hours, three to four days a week. And I had to ask. Is there a certain diet? Because I know we hear, you know, Michael Phelps eats a burger and a milkshake and a steak. Chicken nuggets. All, a twelve chicken nuggets all in one sitting and then yeah. swims and then eats, you know, 5,000 more calories at a time. So what's your diet? I, I as, as an athlete, athlete with a thrower, I basically eat healthy, you know, fruits and vegetables. Trafton says watching this year's opening ceremonies was a reminder of the three she's been a part of too. That experience of walking in the opening ceremony is almost as cool as winning a medal for some athletes. So I had one oh final God. question for the once Cal Poly Female Athlete of the Year. Are you, are you training then for 2016? I am. I'm just back in training after having my first child to go back to wow. the Olympics. Because for Trafton, being a part of Team USA never gets old. Brianna Whitney, Mustang News.